Living in flimsy shelters made of wood and plastic tarp. This group of South Sudanese people who have returned to Sudan are finding life tougher as their former country's economy tumbles. Toka Ayman Agok is a mother of nine children. I was told I have high blood pressure and the situation is not getting better for the stress to decrease. This is so difficult. Life has become much more difficult than before in the South and here. We cannot do anything. We depend on God. If someone can find food, then that's fine. After decades of conflict, South Sudan gained independence from Sudan in 2011. Hundreds of thousands of people moved to the new country. But years of civil war and deepening poverty have followed. Many South Sudanese have now moved back, while some were never able to make the journey to begin with. According to the UN Refugee Agency, there are more than 800,000 South Sudanese refugees in Sudan. About 113,000 live in makeshift dwellings around the capital Khartoum. They are no longer citizens in Sudan and struggle to get access to education and health care in their former country. Sudan's own economy has stagnated as well, with an economy crisis deepening since the military seized full power in October. There is a triple-digit inflation and rising hunger. Rights groups have long advocated that South Sudanese have their rights as Sudanese citizens restored. Attempts to improve their lot have stalled, while most depend on aid groups for cash or food, as well as help accessing education.